last decade, many scientific studies have been published, confirming what ancient wisdom has known for millennia. The breath is incredibly powerful. It can deeply affect our bodies and minds in many positive ways. Breathing practices may allow us to process and move through feelings of anxiety, depression, and other difficult emotions, feelings of lack of purpose and motivation, and even help heal trauma such as PTSD, as well as provide us with a greater understanding of life through peak experiences. It is very exciting that breathwork is becoming more popular as more people around the world realize the amazing power of the breath and discover that they have the complete ability to heal themselves from within. In this video, we're going to look at the positive psychological benefits of breathwork for mental health and overall well-being. If you suffer from depression, anxiety, stress, or experience difficult emotions, you're not alone. In our society, rates of anxiety and depression are at the highest they have ever been. Antidepressant and anti-anxiety medications are commonly prescribed, some of which have questionable efficacy and have undesirable side effects including health issues and high costs. A 2014 meta-analysis which looked at all the available scientific literature on antidepressants sparked huge scientific and public controversy after stating that the placebo effect can explain the apparent effectiveness of antidepressants, essentially saying that antidepressants aren't any more effective than placebo. Breathwork appears as though it may be more effective in treating depression than medications, and doesn't appear to have any negative side effects. One reason why breathwork is so effective is that the breath affects the physiology of the whole body. When you are breathing, you are literally changing the physiology of your entire body. This compares to current medications, which can only affect certain neurotransmitters in the brain. We know that depression and anxiety, for example, are more than just an imbalance of neurotransmitters in the brain. They are related to the condition of our bodies as a whole. In a study comparing participants practicing slow breathing versus a control group who did nothing, found that the slow breathing group had significantly improved mental function, ability to sustain attention for longer periods of time, and had significantly reduced levels of cortisol, which is an important marker for stress levels, suggesting that long deep breathing is a very effective and natural way to de-stress without the need for any drugs or medications. How cool is that? A 2015 study looking at all of the research to date about the physiology of breathing and its effect on emotional states such as depression, anxiety, and stress concluded that slow, deep breathing is a very effective treatment for all of these conditions through the way it shifts our nervous system from sympathetic dominance, basically activation of the fight and flight nervous system, to parasympathetic dominance, basically our rest and digest nervous system. Several more studies support these findings, that the breathing techniques in yoga and meditation are very effective for alleviating stress, anxiety, and depression through their physiological effects on the body. They may also be very helpful in maintaining mental function as we age. What techniques are we talking about here? In these studies, they used a combination of slow breathing and faster rhythmic breathing. There are also several more studies that have come out in the last decade further confirming the powerful benefits of breathing for alleviating depression, anxiety, stress, and PTSD, some of the most common psychological problems in our modern world. So it's now clearly scientifically established that slow deep breathing is a very effective treatment for depression, anxiety, and stress. Let's look at how some of the more intense breathing techniques may help us heal through the safe processing and release of difficult or unpleasant emotions and help us gain new clarity and perspective on our lives. Dr. Ellen Hobson, a leading brain researcher and Harvard psychiatrist, says that the breath is the link between the conscious and unconscious processes in the brain. This is partly because the unique physiological structure of the diaphragm allows it to be controlled consciously or unconsciously creating a bridge between the conscious and unconscious processing in the brain. 
by connecting the brain in these new and novel ways we may be able to stimulate the safe processing and release of difficult emotions. This may be through the way intense breathing helps to disrupt rigid patterns in neural networks in the brain and stimulates the release of these patterns such as unresolved emotional conflicts or trauma related emotional problems providing relief for people suffering from long term anxiety, depression or PTSD. A form of this intense breathwork was developed by psychiatrist Stanislav Grof who had great success working therapeutically with patients using breathing techniques, which are essentially based off the same intense breathing practices found in yoga. They found these breathing techniques were a successful way to reach healing states of consciousness. In 2013, a very large study of over 11,000 participants over 12 years found that this form of breathwork was a safe therapy that offered significant benefits in terms of emotional healing and release. They found that out of the 11,000 participants practicing this breathwork over more than 12 years, not a single one had an adverse physiological or psychological reaction, indicating that it is a low risk therapy that can support patients with a wide range of psychological problems, including anxiety, depression and trauma. So much so that breathwork is now considered a valuable therapeutic tool. Another study on this type of fast breathing found that after just one session, participants had a significant reduction in anxiety levels, further supporting the evidence that these intense breathwork practices are effective treatments for those with anxiety. This is why it is now being increasingly used as a therapeutic tool to treat anxiety. A study also found that this breathing technique helped people to discover more purpose in their life and that 12 months following a single breathwork session, participants had significantly increased well-being and life satisfaction. And some participants even rated the breathwork session as a peak experience or one of the more important experiences in their life, similar to falling in love, getting married or even having a child. This small pilot study shows the massive potential for these breathing techniques to not just help with depression and anxiety, but may also help with finding greater purpose and satisfaction in life. More research into this would be amazing. What sort of intense breathing are we talking about here? Circular connected breathing, meaning you're breathing fully in and out with no pause between the inhale or exhale. If you're familiar with yoga, it's somewhat similar to the yogic breathing technique Bastrika. If you want to give it a try, check out my guided practice, 10 minute guided breathwork to feel amazing. Finally, another amazing study was conducted by researchers at the Stanford Research Institute. War veterans suffering from PTSD participated in a week long workshop, practicing the same yogic breathing techniques we discussed earlier beginning with slow, deep breathing, and then including faster rhythmic breathing. They found that PTSD scores were significantly reduced in a one month follow up and remained reduced even a year later. This is a remarkable finding for treating a disorder that causes such high substance abuse and suicide rates in veterans, and that is normally treated with expensive medications that aren't very effective. This further supports the evidence that breathwork is a very effective treatment for supporting people with trauma and PTSD. As we have discussed in this video, in the last decade many exciting scientific studies have been published helping to confirm what ancient wisdom has known for millennia. The breath is incredibly powerful, it can deeply affect our bodies and minds in many positive ways. Breathing practices may allow us to process and move through feelings of anxiety, depression and other difficult emotions, feelings of lack of purpose and motivation and even help heal trauma such as PTSD, as well as provide us with a greater understanding of life through peak experiences. It is very exciting that breathwork is becoming more popular as more people around the world realize the amazing power of the breath and discover that they have the complete ability to heal themselves from within. If you like this video and want to learn more about the history of breathwork and how breathwork actually affects our bodies, check out my other video, How Does Breathwork Affect Our Bodies? The History and Physiology of Breathwork.